I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. God is a wonderful God. He is a gracious God. He is merciful and He will never leave you. My dear friend, I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm so happy to be with you today. It is a brand new day that God has given us by His grace and by His grace we will make it through. We will keep on going. We will never give up. We will never give in until we finish this race. Every day that we get is a gift from God, so thank Him for it and be grateful. Every day that you wake up is a day to live to the fullest. And today is one of those days. My dear friend, today I'll be speaking special declarations over you to rise again in all areas that you have fallen. And this is in line with the scripture. Now, if you're new to this channel, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Click that bell icon so you can stay up to date with all the posts we release because they will lift you up and push you to a greater glory. And all our broadcasts include the word of God, which is tried and tested. And we share the pure, unadulterated Word of God that will bless you and give you the keys and insights to go up to a greater glory. But as we begin, let us welcome the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, just lift up your hands and say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come and bless me today, even on this special day, as I receive these special declarations from you. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, with all we do, we need a scriptural foundation. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 24 verse 16, it says, For a just man falleth seven times, and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. I'll read that to you once again. It says, For a just man falleth seven times. So he falls many times. He makes mistakes. Even the man who you think is good can make mistakes, but he riseth up again. It's not so with the wicked. It says, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. I'll read it for you a third time. Proverbs 24 verse 16. For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. My dear friend, in whatever area you have fallen, in whatever area you have gone down, in whatever area things have not been going well, I trust know and believe as I speak these special declarations today with the power of God, God will touch you and bless you and you will rise again. In every area where you've made mistakes, God will lift you up again. He will give you strength again to keep on going. In every area where you have gone the wrong way, God will give you strength and grace and you will go the right way in the name of Jesus. In every area that you've made mistakes and you've fallen, God will give you grace so that you stand up again and you keep on going and you finish this race and you finish it well. So in saying that, let us begin. Let us begin by praising God and as we discern His presence, then we'll begin to pray and then I'll begin to speak these special declarations over you. So in saying that, begin to thank Him and praise Him in your own words. Father, we just thank You. Thank You for another day. Thank You for Your grace. Thank You for Your mercy. Thank You for Your love. Thank You, Lord, for another day to be alive, another day to live to the fullest, another day to achieve that purpose, that destiny that You've entrusted to us, another day to receive what You have for us. It is another day and we receive it with open arms. We give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, we give you all the praise. For you alone are holy, you alone are worthy. You alone deserve the glory. Be glorified in my life and in my dear friend's life who's watching this video. And be lifted high. We give you praise and thank you for the full and finished work of the cross. We give you praise and thank you for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We give you praise and thank you that right now, things are beginning to happen. And we give you praise and thank you that we are righteous through Christ. 
so this scripture applies to us. The righteous man falleth seven times, meaning many times, and he rises again. And my dear friend shall rise up again in whatever area it has gone down, in whatever area things are not working out well, in whatever area, maybe in business, maybe in marriage, maybe in relationships, maybe in, in terms of the family, if things have gone bad, if things have gone down, things will begin to go up again. I thank you and I give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. My dear friend, I discern the presence of God and I know, I trust, I believe God is going to bless you wherever you are. And this same presence that is here in studio as I record this is there as you're watching. So connect in faith, believe and receive. And God will do what only He can do. Now as we begin, my dear friend, I want to encourage you, comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, as I speak these special declarations over my dear friend, let your power go forward so that my dear friend will rise again in every area that they have fallen. For your word shows us that we are righteous through Christ and therefore, therefore, this scripture applies to us and we take hold of this promise. The righteous may fall seven times or many times, but he rises again. It is not so with the wicked and we are righteous through Christ. So, Father, even as I speak these declarations, let your word go out with power and influence, great force, with the power in the name of Jesus, so that my dear friend will rise again in every area that my dear friend has gone down. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now, my dear friend, in saying that, let us begin. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, in whatever area you have fallen and things have gone down, may a turnaround begin to happen right now in Jesus' name. In whatever area you have made mistakes and you feel like you can't come back to God because of the guilt and condemnation that the devil's trying to place on you, I decree and declare you shall rise up again and you shall come to God because there is no guilt and condemnation for those who are in Christ. In whatever area the devil has tried to push you down and things haven't been going well, may they begin to go well right now in Jesus' name. In whatever area things haven't been going the right way because of mistakes of the past, may God correct those mistakes and may things begin to go the right way. May God release His high-ranking warring angels to fight for you, and may this promise become real in your life, that every time you make mistakes and you fall, you will rise again. It will not be the end, but you will continue going and you will make it through. May the grace of God and the power of the Holy Spirit be with you, to empower you to rise again every time you fall, so that every time the devil tries to push you down, you will rise up and go even higher. In Jesus' name, may the grace of God and the power of God be with you. Just as it says, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. So even when your physical power goes down, may God's power go up in you. And may you increase in strength and go and make it further than you even thought you would in the name of Jesus. In areas where you've been demoted in your workplace, may God promote you. May you go up and be promoted suddenly. May God bring a sudden breakthrough in your life that will change the course and direction of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. May God touch you and bless you. And may God take you to a greater glory. May God take you to a greater level. May God take you to a greater dimension. May God change things so much so that you will rise up even higher than before. 
The righteous man falleth seven times, but he rises up again because the Lord helps him. May God help you in all those areas that you have fallen so that you may go up and you may be even stronger than before. May God strengthen your family because your family is also righteous through Christ. And wherever you have fallen in your family, may God strengthen and impact your family that your family will rise up again. In whatever area of your life it has gone wrong and things have begun to go down, may they turn around and begin to go up. May you see the change that only God can bring. May God touch, influence and change your life in the correct direction. May He impact you in such a way that your life will never be the same again. There is power in the words that we speak. There is power in the tongue. You see, the tongue of a born-again believer is not the same as the tongue of an unbeliever because there is authority in your mouth. From the day that you were born again of water and of spirit, things changed and you were empowered divinely. Begin to speak to your situation. Begin to decree and declare that you will rise up again. Refuse to stay down. Refuse to stay crushed by the enemy. Refuse to be pushed down by the enemy. Rise up in holy anger and refuse to be pushed down. Refuse the oppression of the enemy. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Wherever the enemy is trying to oppress you, may you be set free right now and may you rise up and go forward in Jesus' name. Wherever the enemy is trying to cause stagnation in your life, May that stagnation break right now in Jesus' name. Wherever the devil is trying to cause sickness in your life that is causing you to go down, may that sickness end right now in Jesus' name. May that infection in your blood be terminated right now in Jesus' name. May that illness go away right now in Jesus' name. May that condition change and may the doctors see their report and be astonished and say, Wow, what happened? This is a miracle. This is surely a miracle. May they call their friends. May they all look at that document. May they even check and double check and be astonished. And when they are astonished, tell them it is Jesus. Jesus did it for me. May God give you grace to live further than what man can tell you you will live. In Jesus' name, I know of people, I know close friends. This one man, the doctors told him he had only a few months to live. Twenty years later, he's still alive. May God give you grace that you'll live long. To taste and see of the goodness of God in the land of the living. Wherever the enemy is trying to cause you to fall, may he fail in Jesus' name. May all the pitfalls of the enemy that are designed to pull you down fail to pull you down in Jesus' name. May you taste and see of the goodness of God even in the land of the living in Jesus' mighty name. May God impact, touch, and change your life even right now. May you taste and see of God's goodness. May the goodness of God lead you to repentance. Wherever you have gone wrong, may God lead you back on the right track. That you may go and you may go strong and you may finish this race and finish it well. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. Now my dear friend, once again as usual, I want to remind you Confess the right things. Speak the right things. It is so essential that we have the right confession. Release the right confession out of your mouth and it shall be well with you. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and from the rest of the GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios team, God bless you and goodbye. 
In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.